Careful how you take it out of the packet first of all. Hold it by the white edge with the metal facing forwards. Now you want to be careful not to touch or damage the plastic membrane. So just be careful with it. And with the metal facing forwards, you put it right in your mouth on your tongue. Close your mouth, wait one or maybe two minutes for it to get wet with saliva on your tongue, and then move it to the end of your tongue and go s, as if you're saying sit, okay? And you get a squeak when it's in the right place, like this. There, let it get wet, and there. Now, if you don't get that sound the first time you try, maybe it needs to be a little bit wetter, or maybe you could just try changing the position of the whistle on your tongue, a little bit forwards, a little bit further back. Experiment, and you'll soon find the spot where it makes that sound. That is your sweet spot, and you're away. Experiment with the way that you go s. For example, if you make a spitting sound like t -t -t, you get this sound. If you go you get or you get the trill, which is a real bird sound. Now, if I tighten my lips, increase the pressure of my breath, you get an even more authentic sounding bird trill. Combine them together and pretty soon you'll be sounding like a blackbird, for example, here. Now, I'm an expert but it doesn't take that long. If you experiment for yourself, sometimes it's easier to experiment for yourself than it is for me to explain how to make all these different sounds. After use, dry it, very important. Just fold it in tissue paper. I use kitchen roll, very absorbent. Just dries it off. There we are. And then keep it safely in the packet. That protects the plastic membrane. And if you put it away dry, it's not going to rot, you can get it out in two weeks, three weeks time, moisten it on your tongue and you'll be away whistling again. Have fun. <laughs>